Welcome to the Java Revisited YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let us check how to use the stream in Java to filter, apply a map operation and collect the elements into a list. But before doing that, let us check how we would normally do this in the old way. In the old way, if I wanted to loop through an array like this, I would use a for each loop. Now remember the for each loop, we have the type and then the list. For each loop is actually a nice Java tool and can be useful in certain situations. But for what we want to do, we want to loop through the list and apply a certain operation on each element in the list. So in this list, what we want to do is multiply each element by two and then print it out. If you're used to the for each loop, you might feel like hmm, there's no issue with for each, but we can make this even better with a string. Now Java streams came in Java 8 and they enable us to do lovely stuff with collection. As you can see, the output 6220 is a result of multiplying each element by 2. Let us go ahead and use a stream. All we need to do is just to say numbers.stream. Now we have a stream of elements in this list. We can apply some operations on the elements. Now the first thing we are going to do is to apply a map operation. A map operation applies a certain action to each element. In this case, we are multiplying each element by two. So look at this. I have a stream of elements and I have a map operation. It is saying for each element, I can name it anything. I say S in this situation. Apply S times two. Then we have a for each which we also have a lambda expression, but we can use a method reference. When we print this out, it gives us the same output as the former operation. You might say, hmm, this doesn't look so different from the former example. For simple example, there might not be much difference with using a for loop or for each loop. But as you want to perform more operations, you see that Java streams actually make things easier. Now let's say we have a list of numbers and we want to apply a certain operation to each element. And then at the end, we want to collect the result into a new list. Now to apply a mathematical operation to this list, you can notice that it's a list of strings. Even though the strings are like numbers in the string, we have to convert it first. So we used integer.value of. So each element will convert it to an integer. Now we also want to collect only even numbers. So we're going to use the filter. The filter only allows elements that pass a certain condition. In this case, we're saying n modulus 2 is 0. That means any element that is even allowed to go. After everything is done, collect to list that means collect it and save all the elements into a new list now we can simplify this we can even further simplify this as you can see this is much much better than what we had we're using a method reference and we can use a direct to list, which converts the resulting elements into a new list and we save it in our new list variable. If you have any question or doubt, make them known in the comments and remember to like and share this video.